Huntington's disease is one of a group of neurodegenerative diseases, and I think we're more familiar with Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease. All of these conditions have a, a, a course. Huntington's disease is a, is a fairly long time course of 10, 15, 20 years. Uh, and, and many patients will tell us that they were aware of symptoms even several years before the doctor made the diagnosis. Often those early symptoms are um, cognitive symptoms, just not quite able to process information like they used to. Uh, maybe behavioral symptoms, a little more moody, a little more irritable, a little more um, obsessive or perseverative, getting stuck on an idea. Um, it's generally when the patient develops motor symptoms, the chorea, that doctors are confident making the diagnosis. Um, but e even then, some patients with Huntington's disease, depending on what they're doing for a living, may still be able to work or do the kinds of activities that they've done before. But inevitably, the time comes where they're not able to work. Um, and, uh, and then comes the time where they're probably not able to drive, but are still able to be at home, you know, with some support. Um, uh, there's a staging system that's been developed for Huntington's disease that has five stages. I would think of the early stages as being stage one and two, um, where a person may still be working or may not be working, but still lives at home, does some chores around the house, does their own uh, activities of daily living like bathing and dressing and so on. Stage three is really a transition time when the patient uh, is less able to take care of their own needs. Um, so this might be the person who is home alone and forgets to eat or is falling and, and the family member comes home to find them with a new bruise or a broken bone. Um, or they're just not able to manage. They call their loved one who's at work multiple times a day. Um, Stage four and five are sort of the later stages of Huntington's disease, and by that time, most people really need 24-hour support. They're, they're not able to do household chores. They're really not even able to do their own self-cares, but need varying levels of, of assistance just to bathe and dress, and, and uh, some people need to be fed or, or, or toileted. Um, the terminal stages of the disease are, um, uh, are you know, 15, 20 years down the road. Uh, and by that time, most people really are needing 24-hour care, maybe bed-bound or wheelchair-bound. Um, uh, and the goal at that stage is to keep people comfortable. It's possible still to be content even in the terminal stages of the disease. I think it's very important for the clinician to be thinking ahead, to be preparing the family for the next stage, um, not dwelling on it, but prepared for it. So things like advanced healthcare directives are important. In particular for patients with Huntington's disease to have an opinion about whether they would or would not want to have a feeding tube in the case that they're not able to eat enough to keep up their weight. We can fix that by putting in a feeding tube. Some people don't want that. Many people don't want that. Some people do. So you need to have an opinion about that. Um, at an earlier time in the disease, um, when you can still make your opinion known. So advanced directives are important, financial planning is important, and so on. We often involve a social worker um, or a, a um, county services to sort of help patients think about uh, financial planning or logistical planning. Um, unfortunately, Huntington's disease tends to strike at a, at a fairly young age. Um, so. So a 45-year-old patient with Huntington's disease may need 24 hours support, but their wife is working. And that's a little different than Alzheimer's or Parkinson's, where, which tend to hit later in life, and there's often a spouse at home, also retired, available to help. Um, so, so people with Huntington's disease often need the, the help of outside community services. So um, finding out how to access those kind of services is important.